where should you start with biblical weight loss? And so this is going to be a video where I share with you some principles, some first steps for anybody here who's wanting to, man, just follow uh, scripture like in Romans 12 verses 1 and 2 where we're called to present our bodies as a holy sacrifice to God and to renew our minds, right? So that we can just walk in even more perfect union with Christ. So for um, you watching this, if you are focusing right now on wanting to lose some weight and just simply present your body uh, as a holy sacrifice for God, right? Honor this temple that you've been given. You're in the right place here, guys. I'm going to be walking you through these first couple steps here. Just finished up dinner myself. My wife made some, man, amazing nachos, guys. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> if you guys love nachos, uh, just drop a heart on this video, okay? And if you're watching this with me live, go ahead and drop a hashtag live down in the comments so I can see who's tuning in. And if you're popping in on the replay, guys, I love seeing y'all watch these. Just drop a hashtag replay down there in the comments. Ryan, I see you, dude. What's going on, man? So, guys, I want to start off with, um, I'm going to share with you guys just three simple first steps that anybody can take to go through a process of biblical weight loss, all right? And if you guys saw earlier, uh, today I made a post. I'm actually going to be dropping something very soon to help you guys out with giving you biblical tools, plans, protocols to be able to help you out with weight loss, training, and diet. Specifically, we're going to be starting off with weight loss as the number one focus. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Um, but the very first step in this, and Nadine, I see you. What's going on? The very first step in you know following a biblical approach for weight loss is going to be first and foremost just um, – Man, I love Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 with this. And it's, uh, you know, just depend on the Lord for everything, right? Acknowledge him in all that you do. We can even go into James and look at um, ask God for wisdom, right? And he will give it to you if, as long as we ask with an understanding heart, a, a non-divided heart, and, um, you know, not double-minded and doubting him. So the very first step, guys, has to be, hey, go to Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, right? The spirit of Jesus Christ and have a conversation with him about your weight loss process, okay? Don't go watch a video of mine. Don't go, um, you know, go buy another keto recipe book or another workout routine for 20 bucks online. Like, sit down with Holy Spirit, okay? And this is coming from someone who runs a coaching business and, like, literally, you know, the money to pay the bills here at my house, put food on our table, um, to pay Uncle Sam taxes comes from you guys, you know, purchasing Kingdom Health uh, coaching programs, uh, hiring me as your coach. And I'm here to actually tell you that the first step is not going to be like, hey, Patrick, can, can you be my coach through this process? It's got to be sit down with Holy Spirit. Okay. Then what I'm going to do here, guys, is just give you three quick tips. Okay. Just to help you get started in this journey. All right. And if you, first off, partner with Holy Spirit and have that conversation, which guys, I'll be real with you. 90% of like people who watch these videos skip over that first step of actually talking with Holy Spirit. And that's where they get stuck in a loop of um, self-sabotage when it comes to weight loss, right? How many of you guys have been there where you're trying to lose the same weight over and over and over again, and it doesn't seem to work? biggest reason why is because you're not sitting down with Holy Spirit to get some solutions because if you truly listen to him, you follow the solutions, you unattach yourself from the process and you just say, well, I trust that the spirit of Christ inside of me is going to give me the right answers in my health journey, man. And you just follow that unattached. You guys will see so much success in your health. It's freaking crazy. And all the stuff that's been hard for you in the past, it's going to be super simple. Now, let's move on to three simple first steps for someone who's wanting to, uh, you know, go through weight loss, all right? So I shared with you some biblical uh, foundations there in the beginning. These next three, I, I, I'm sorry to tell you guys, you can find all of the, um, you know, biblical <clears throat> and Christly lessons around health in Scripture, but not once is there in Jeremiah, in Matthew, Proverbs, Revelations, whatever it might be, um, a workout plan 
uh, that you should follow or a step-by-step -step weight loss solution, guys. So what I'm going to be sharing with you guys now is built off of biblical principles, um, but just know Holy Spirit's going to be the authority here and, and follow these that feel right. But these are the ones that you guys see my clients who are rocking this kingdom health life or seeing results with following these. Um, and this is step number one. If you're wanting to lose weight, the very first place that I recommend for you to start is uh, implementing implement uh, <laughs> implementing intermittent fasting. Sorry, guys. I don't normally go uh, live and make videos this late. Um, I wanted to make sure I got one in for you guys today. Implement intermittent fasting. And you don't have to be legalistic about it to where it's like, hey, if you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner one day, you know, you, you screwed up. But just know that, hey, eating all day long is a new thing in the past like 100, 200 years, okay? Very new thing. When we get back to even the way that God designed our bodies, think back into Genesis, okay? When he gave us dominion over plants and food and, and animals, we really weren't able to eat all day long unless it was summertime and fruit was really abundant. Most of the time through life, humans were designed to go throughout the day, maybe only eating one or two meals a day, okay? Only eating one or two meals a day. And there's nothing wrong with eating three square meals a day, but what I've found is the sweet spot for individuals who want to lose weight is to start intermittent fasting and just simply eating two meals every day. This works wonders for so many people, okay? So start there. Don't worry about changing what you're eating just yet. The fasting, what's so beautiful about it is naturally through letting go of more food, you're gonna naturally start to focus on higher quality foods when you do eat. And then you know later on you can worry about nutrition, okay? But I don't recommend that for step number one. Now step number two is gonna be, hey, just start walking more, okay? Don't overcomplicate this stuff. Guys, if you just simply move your body every day, that right there is something, when, if we go back to, to Romans 12, 1, on just honoring God with your body as a holy sacrifice, if you just get out there and move your body each day, what is this going to do? It's going to create an effect to where you are strengthening your body here for your kingdom purpose on earth, okay? It, 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 just walking is the best first step. You don't need to go to a gym. You don't need to buy kettlebells. You don't need to you know, worry about getting a home gym and losing weight if you're not moving your body at all right now <clears throat> consistently. So I just recommend, guys, start off with just walking. Jesus walked everywhere so you can walk everywhere, right? It doesn't mean go sell your car, but it means, hey, try to get some steps in each day. Move your body more. Just walk. Simple changes right there, okay? So step number one, you just start fasting. Eat two meals a day. Step number two, Go walk as often as you can. Then step number three, I recommend, guys, get started with a strength training routine. Routine, Okay? So what I love, man, is, is the scripture in uh, Timothy where it talks about how, um, I believe it's 1 Timothy, not 2 Timothy. In fact, I know it's 1 Timothy. Um, where it says that physical training is of some value, but godliness is way more valuable, Right? I want to just point something out there. Scripture says that physical training profits a little. I'm just going to say, guys, Scripture actually says that physical training profits a little. So what does that mean? It means there's actual value in physical training. And it goes on to say in that uh, Scripture that it is, um, you know, when you, you go back and you actually look at the original wording and translations there, it means that it, it profits a very small amount comparatively too. And then the next line talks about godliness. So guys, I really do believe too that there's a powerful way that you can actually use physical training as a tool for training up your godliness. And I think as you walk through your health journey, specifically when you're coming at it from an approach to where you're trying to lose weight and to make your body a holy sacrifice to God, well, in that scripture, it says that physical training is of some value, and godliness is way more. And I cannot disagree with that at all. It's perfectly true. So now, what if, though, you use your physical training to train your godliness? Come on, somebody. That's like a double bang for your buck. Use 
physical training. I recommend guys, super simple. If you're not working out at all right now, I recommend two or three days a week of just some, some really um, intentional strength training. All right. <clears throat> and if you're already working out three or four days a week, it's totally cool as well too. But guys, you can use physical training to train your godliness, especially when you're working through a weight loss process to where you're actively working to repair your relationship with your body and your holy temple. Okay, so just start off with that simple approach, y'all. Start fasting, intermittent fasting. Don't worry about the extended fast right now. Walk as often as you can. And if you're not working out at all right now, try just starting off with two or three days a week. And if you already are working out, but maybe it's not getting you results, I recommend transitioning to a strength training routine that is focusing on getting you stronger in key movements that are going to, you know, apply to your real life. Like when you run around and have fun with your kids, right? Ryan, I think you guys have what, 11 kids you talked to me about? <laughs> so, you know, find a routine that gets you stronger, has more stamina, and allows you to run around and keep up with those 11 kids. And you guys are going to do great. You start this off, you guys can easily start seeing a ton of results. And I recommend, guys, if you are wanting help in following a biblical process with principles taken from scripture and that we can learn from the life of Jesus Christ um, to help you to lose weight and be able to get better mastery over what you eat and your training. If you would like help with those, I'm gonna be dropping something later this, um, later this week and this month to help you guys out with this. It's gonna be like the coolest thing ever. So if that's you and you guys would like help in, in following a process like this and actually having a coach give you a plan that shows you step by step what you need to do. If you could just do me a favor, just comment down below me. Because as you're watching this, what I'm gonna do is when I start to um, release some more details about this for you guys to be able to see if it's right for you, you know, the program that I'm putting together, I'll reach out to you and, uh, you know, just give you those details. Okay, so if that's you and, and you would like help with weight loss following biblical principles and you'd like my help as your coach, just drop me down in the comments. And what I'll do is I'll just reach out to you once I drop those details and uh, send them on over your way. So that way we can get you the help and support that you need, guys, because you don't have to do this alone, right? What's so cool is that we are the body of Christ and we get to work together as a family for this. So I'd love to support you guys there. And I hope this is really helpful for you guys. I'm gonna pop in the comments real quick, see what we got. Nathan says, I like to move it, move it. Oh, we got Nathan and Nadine in here. You guys both got the ends and the, the Bond Traeger, awesome last name there. So I didn't know, Nathan, you were in here too, but super happy to see you, man. I think you guys have the same profile picture too. <laughs> Samuel, physical training to train your godliness. 100% God goes with me on the trails. Dude, without a doubt, man. Oh, dude, I freaking love going out on trails, man. That's like some of the best, deepest connection with God when you get to run there. Um, you guys have seen some posts, guys, that I've made. Running, gotta be real with you. It's not the best for weight loss and fat loss. Strength training is way better. Walking is actually better than running for weight loss and fat loss. And I'll make another video on that another day. But I love running, guys. I went today with my pup. Uh, we got some time outside. It was so fun, Samuel. So I understand that. I love running. It's so good. Ryan, yes, 11 kids, man. So let's make sure you're around for those uh, rascals as long as possible, man. 120 years minimum. See the next four or five generations from your seed come to life, man. Uh, that is just so cool. I love the family. Um, Nadine says, me? Okay, awesome, Nadine. I will personally reach out to you. Um, <clears throat> I think I got that group chat going with you and Nathan. So when... Um, I announced some details on that. I'll make sure to uh, get that over to you guys. And wait, Nathan says, wow, it's interesting. I, I think you're probably talking about the, the running part for fat loss there, man. So yeah, it's some cool stuff there. Um, we'll talk more on that uh, in Kingdom Health University. And then David, thank you for tagging someone there, man. Just really appreciate that, guys. So love y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off. Um, man, wife and I are gonna watch uh, Logan, which is like a... Uh, I think it's a like Wolverine movie. I've never seen it, but uh, super excited to watch that. So we're gonna have some time relaxing here tonight. And stay tuned, guys.
for what I'm gonna be sharing to help you out with weight loss. Super excited for that. Again, if you are wanting some help, um, just simply losing weight while following biblical principles and you're ready just to like not go through the diet yo-yo train and all the worldly solutions for this and you would genuinely like to walk with Holy Spirit in an approach that works to get you weight loss results, just comment down below me, everyone who does that. I'll reach out to you guys in a couple days um, when I start to get those details out and help you guys out with it. Samuel uh, dropped a comment and said, 15 minute strength training in the AM is powerful. I wore out uh, my total gym wheels. <laughs> man, I've actually never used the total gym. That's so cool, man. Yeah, I love strength training, dude. I'm usually about um, four to six days a week about 30, 40 minutes myself. Um, I'll mix in some mobility and some cardio in there as well too. I love, um, I just enjoy running and mobility training is super important to me for, um, for injury reduction. Uh, I had double knee surgeries myself and a lot of clients overcoming injuries in the name of Jesus Christ. So mobility is super important there. I love 15 minute training sessions, but to be honest, I just feel like I'm not able to get everything I want with that there's some people who like you know live off of those 15 minute sessions and samuel if that's you and you get results man super happy for you there i like 30 to about 45 minutes that's kind of my sweet spot um logan in the building awesome awesome what's up sammy happy to see you happy to see you um and Samuel said, me, I'm game, brother. Awesome, dude. I will reach out to you in a couple days when we get that up, guys. So excited to be sharing all this stuff with you guys, too. So appreciate y'all for watching. Samuel, Nathan, Nadine, uh, Andrew. Um, who else we got in here? Uh, Ryan. Just uh, You guys are all awesome. And if you're watching on replay, guys, uh, much love to y'all. And I'll catch you guys in another video, okay? So Samuel... Real quick, he said, I find 15 minutes followed by 20 minute meditation. Beautiful, man. More followers of Christ should meditate because it grows our faith muscle, right? Too many people are letting meditation be something that is scary because you've seen like new age people or other religions do it. And to be honest, it's probably one of the most cowardly things that the church has done where we run away from the ability to build our faith muscle and put our focus on the things of God that are the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things yet unseen. Man, when we meditate and we walk in further union with Christ and his spirit inside of us, one of the most powerful things, man. So I love that, Samuel. Went on a little tirade there, but I hate seeing people who uh, are followers of Jesus Christ and think that meditation is something that you shouldn't do because there's nowhere in scripture that says that at all. When you get to sit down with Father and use that as a powerful tool to just walk in deeper unity, um, man, that's one of the best things ever. And I think honestly, you know, I think a lot of it, what it is, you guys are getting, it's like nine o'clock at night over here. So this is like late night. Normally I don't go this long on the, on the videos, but you guys are getting some good stuff tonight. I think a lot of what this is, Samuel, and those of you guys watching, why the body of Christ is actually fearful of meditation and weary of it at times is truly not because it's, it's at the essence demonic, but because they think that if they talk about meditating, um, that there will be judgment and ostracizing from their Christian brothers and sisters. So I just want to encourage you guys, like this is something I do within um, our Kingdom Health programs. Um, we walk into meditations, we partner up with Holy Spirit. Uh, Sammy says, I see it as be still and know. Come on, beautifully put right there. Um, you know, scripture just a, or meditation is a great way to slow down. So that way we're not moving faster than the pace that God's calling us to, right? And allow us to be able to move from that speed of faith and rest and total union with Holy Spirit. And I think that um, Holy Spirit has dominion over everything here on earth. And when we close our eyes and we, we picture our future and we choose to do that in partnership with him, such a beautiful, beautiful thing. I think it's an area that's really untapped by the church right now as well too. So little little tirade there. Samuel said, don't fear and ignor ignorance, be still and know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love that. Um, put the world on pause. Amen, man. All right, y'all. 
I will see you guys in the next one. I stayed on a little bit late. What is this, a 20 minute live? You guys, uh, you guys got me longer than normal. <laughs> Love y'all. Again, if you would like support with weight loss as I drop our new project um, in the next few days, just comment down below me, everybody here who comments that on live or on the replay. Um, I'll reach out to you in a few days with some of these solutions and see if they can be um, the thing to help you out to start seeing some results. Love you guys. Take care, y'all.